guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to be sealing this acrylic pour on a vase with resin. And I'm using my Mixed Media Girl Artist resin. This is a two part resin, A and B. You mix it equal parts A and B, and then you're ready to go. So I already have a little bit mixed up here. And I have this vase on a cup turner, which I got from Amazon. It's really inexpensive. I just got a whole bunch of them. You turn it on and then we're going to just simply pour a little bit of resin on here. Very simple. Don't overcomplicate it. You could use a paintbrush or different tools to rub the uh, resin around if you want. I prefer to do it with my hands. It's just less tools to clean. Um, so this resin is, I'm just releasing it. It's brand new and it is just perfect for all kinds of projects, including coasters, sealing your artwork, sealing vases. I've already sold, uh, sealed a whole bunch <laughs> with this resin, but it's got zero VOCs. It is uh, UV resistant, heat resistant, has a long work time. Generally speaking, I've worked with this for over an hour and it's not even gotten near the cure time. So it's pretty, it's pretty long work time. And I love sealing my vases with resin because it really just makes them pop. Now, can you use other things? Of course you can use other things, but I do not recommend any of them because um, like I've tried different spray varnishes for instance, and they just stay a little bit sticky and then it can get stuck to your shelf. Also, doing it this way with the resin, it really just is gonna be super durable. You're gonna be able to wash it, you're gonna be able to use it regularly without any issues. So make sure you get full coverage, and I like to kind of take my finger and just go along the top here. It is not right up next to the foam, so don't worry about it getting stuck to the foam. And even if it was right up next to the foam, the resin does not stick to the foam, so don't worry about your piece ever getting stuck to the foam. It's just not gonna happen. Do not forget to get the bottom. And then go ahead and torch or use a heat gun to remove all air bubbles. And it's that simple. So let it turn fully while you torch to make sure you get all the air bubbles. And then I like to let it rotate for a little bit and maybe watch it from an angle or even come back in a few minutes just to double check that I got all sides or all spots. From right, right here, it looks like I did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna leave this on the turner overnight. I like to leave it at least 12 hours, usually more like 24. And you can always test drips underneath to see if it's dry. Let it fully dry and then take it off. Otherwise it's sticky. You could even let it dry and then even leave it on the cup turner for longer, just not spinning until it's cured. Totally up to you. But for right now, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, you guys, we're back. This is all dry. Look how gorgeous that is. The resin just really makes it pop and it's so durable. So you can totally wash this now and it'll last like forever. So very easy to resin a vase. And um, I originally poured this one on a live video, but I'll post a link down in the description for how I pour the vases so that you can see the original. And of course, check for all the materials in the description and I'll see you all next time.